I'm working on winch mounts for the willies. Got this Warren M8000, which I'm currently rebuilding the clutch disengage engage lever. And got some marks ready and going to start drilling holes to get this winch mounted up. Okay, so I got all of the bolt holes drilled and it's set on here temporarily right now. I figured I would show you my design for how this is going to work. So this is just a flat winch plate and it is just flat right against the frame here. As you can see right there the frame angles up to the bumper. So I had to push it back towards the grill a little bit, which looks good anyways. And because of that being higher, I'm going to put tow hooks in the back, like that, on those two bolts. And then one more bolt here in each front corner. And that'll be strong enough. I'm going to use all hardened hard, uh, bolts and nuts and stuff. And then the fair lead. I'm going to cut the bumper out so the fair lead will actually sit there. It's going to be like halfway down the bumper and sit up tight against there. And the cable will actually come out of the bumper. I think it's going to give it a cool, good, clean look. It's going to work out pretty good. And then this I'm going to mount in the center of the winch because it clears up visibility to the turn signal a lot better. Then I got some vintage fog lights that'll go here and here. There's already holes here for them. It's going to work out great. So now, next step is need to trim this off on both sides to get it even with the frame and cut out the notch for the fair lead on the bumper. All right, got this all cut out. Here's the junk piece. And just set the winch in here. And it is hitting here. Same spot on the other side, a little bit on the bottom. So I'm gonna pull this back off. Probably take a flat disc and just clean it up. Pull off a little bit more of those edges where it needs some clearance. Clean it all up. Alright, I got this clearance down enough that it fits down perfectly. Still a little bit tight over here. I might clean that up a little bit, but it fits in there good. All the bolts are in. So now I'm going to make a line measure out right there. Chop that off on both sides and this will be ready to be bolted in. Got this completely done. Got both sides chopped off. Got a little bit overhang over the edge of the frame, but that'll be good. I mean, you stand back and just looks so cool on there. Went ahead last night and welded in this plate. This is the same piece that I cut out of the front of the bumper. And just welded in so when the fairly, so the fairly has a gap right there and you could see down through the C channel bumper and it just kind of looked weird so I welded that on to fill it in and once I get the winch on it'll look a lot better and my welds actually turned out pretty good tried my first time trying out an arc welder actually did pretty good so I'm gonna get that painted up So on the winch plate, got some angles marked off on both sides. Gonna cut that off just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then I'm gonna shoot some paint over it. If 
so on this winch here, the controller box is supposed to mount here, and I tried taking that off because the controller box would have been here, but that's going to block turn signals, so I'm trying to move it over here to get better visibility to the turn signals, but that, because it was a steel bolt running through an aluminum housing, the bolt immediately broke off, which this is still held in tight, it's still structurally good, but now I can't mount the controller box anywhere. So I'm going to try run a vertical piece of steel off from the back, straight up with another piece going horizontal, making like an upside down L that'll come in and bolt onto that bracket there. <laughs> bracket is completely fabbed up. I ended up adding that vertical piece there, turning into a T shape because it was bending a lot. Now it is rigid, almost like the LED lights. And flip this over, actually looks pretty good. High enough, the cable won't hit it. I'd say it's a, it's, it is a success. So I'm going to take it over and get it finally mounted on Hey, yay! Yes, sir. Finally accomplished. Got it all bolted down, all hardened hardware. Looks super minty. You can see that bracket back there. You can't even tell that my welds are horrible looking. And the controller looks pretty sick mounted up like that. I love the cutout and the bumper. Welding in that plate looks so clean. Even got it wired, so we're going to do a test, test rip ski, see how it works. But yeah, I'm pumped. Alright, let's get winching. Let's get winching. To be clear here, we're trying to move the Jeep and not move the tree. Yeah, Jeep the neutral, running so we don't burn the battery out. Ah, it works. Nice. And it's winching this, what, 2,200 pound Jeep? Like it's nothing. 2,600 pounds. Yeah. It's an 8,000 pound winch. It can't hold up. Oh, it'll do it. I didn't pull any spray against the motor for the generator. What'd you say? So I as need my new alternator. So as he's saying, it's not pulling any... I do have any... a new alternator coming in the mail, by the way. You better. And now you gotta let it build up some juice. Yeah. So I, it does work though. Yeah. So hey, great and successful. So as he's saying that it's not draining power from the generator, it dies. The motor starts dying because he's pulling power from the generator. There you go. Put into fast charging mode. Well, it moved a solid 10 feet before the battery died. Yeah. That's a victory. It is really cold though, that battery. And even the battery was a little weak when I tried starting it earlier. That, that's because it's really cold outside. Yeah. But overall, mission successful. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. Get her done. Got these two fog lights. 
that I got they were they came on the new windshield that I got and I didn't like them mounted on the windshield for the main reason it could not be tipped forward with them there because they're hitting against the hood so I'm gonna take them off and stick them on the front bumper pretty cool vintage unity brand got GE lenses fog lights and not sure what year they are probably 50s or 60s and I already got them the rings cleaned up a little bit and this one here there's supposed to be these metal clips that would hold the lens onto the ring this one all the spring clip things were all good this one they were all busted so I just glued the lens in with some clear Gorilla Glue Got those headlights bolted on those original factory holes ended up being out too far so I drilled some new ones and that looks really cool they're not wired up yet because I still have to put in my whole electrical system before I can do that but for right now they look sick <laughs> 